if you've been watching me since the beginning of my channels you might know that i always look at both sides of the coin i always look from another perspective i don't jump to popular opinions i don't jump to bend wagons because there is always two sides to a story i don't jump into the money talk i don't believe that money is the solution for everything i don't believe that big names means success i always think that something can come from nowhere and be successful you can get a free transfer that could be probably your best signing unfortunately as chelsea fans we've been conditioned that success means money success mean quick fix shortcut success means big names big managers big money spent on the market but it's not always the case we've been conditioned to thinking everything english everything british everything cobham is overrated it's the product of the media nothing good can come from england nothing good can come from cobham it's just like black people in this world they are going with 50 percent less chance than anybody else if you go to a job interview you are stereotyped people look at you differently go play basketball you don't belong here we always have a mindset when it comes to certain colors certain nationalities certain origin especially in the chelsea community in this video we're going to discuss about chelsea candidate to replace Mauricio pochettino and why chelsea fans hate certain candidates i will give you my honest opinion and i will ask you people to keep an open mind so we can have intellectual debate intellectual conversation if you want to help the channel very simple subscribe share comment down below smash that like let's try to get minimum 1000 likes in this video if you do that god will bless you say amen here we go Remember last year, Strasbourg fans were not happy about Bluco, which is the company that owns Chelsea Football Club and Strasbourg. The Ultras, the fans over there, had a big protest outside the stadium to say no to the model, get them out. They don't like the kindergarten project and the way the club being run. At Chelsea, also, we had uh, change the project protest on social media, but nothing physical so far. And last night, on Wednesday night, uh, some fans on social media tried to organize a protest on Sunday, this coming Sunday at Stamford Bridge, to say no to, to McKenna. And I think protesting against somebody that you don't know yet, just because he's not a big name, and you don't protest uh, against the owners, it's going to be really stupid in my humble opinion. I think McKenna is not to blame in this situation. The owners want him. And they base pretty much everything on Deras. Just like Jose Moreno said, I don't believe in statistics. You can go for stats. That's that's the way people that don't understand football analyze football is with stats. Um, I don't go for stats. I go for what I felt and for what I I 
I watch in the game. I kind of agree with him because sometimes statistics can mislead people. They don't tell you exactly the context behind statistics. They just show you numbers and most of those numbers are so complicated to people even to understand. So what do you think about people protesting already before even, even the guy is at the job? This guy been rated by F Sir Alex Ferguson. He worked with Jose Moreno. Well, he's also Spursy because he came from Tottenham Hotspur's academy and he retired at the age of 22 because of a bad injury. He went to university, studied uh, sports science, got his coaching badges and worked with Tottenham Hotspur's academy, moved to so many academies around the country and ended up by going to Manchester United Academy and then Jose Moreno promoted him as an assistant coach in his staff. And after that, he went to Ipswich Town and the rest is history. He took them from League One to the Premier League, which is impressive in, you know, back-to-back -back promotions. Very impressive. It doesn't mean that he's going to do the same at Chelsea Football Club because this is the Premier League the best of the best but also it doesn't mean that he's gonna fail some people are calling him the next sir alex ferguson and some people also are thinking about is he the next coming of avb because remember when avb joined chelsea football club he was the next Mourinho, because he won some trophies in portugal he worked with jose Mourinho. he learned from the master and then he's ready to kill the master. But he never ever got to the level of Jose Moreno. So I think McKenna is his own personality, his own coach. So we have to stop comparing every kid that will score a free kick in training now is the next Ronaldo. If you not, uh, you not make somebody, you are the next Messi. Let people be their own personality. I don't believe that he's Sir Alex Ferguson. And I don't believe that he's Moreno. And I don't believe that he's Ragnik. Because he also worked with Ragnik. And worked also with uh, Ole Gunnar Soshka. So he got some kind of good experience from here and there. But I'm not going to say he's such and such. All I can say is that the guy deserves a chance just like anybody else. His track record when it comes to promoting youngsters is phenomenal. And you can understand because he's been working with academies all his entire career. Tottenham Hotspurs, Manchester United and other, other teams. So... Players like Omari Hutchison, Harvey Vell, you know, David Washington, Tino Andrian, you can name them. I am very sure that they're going to have playing time under this guy, McKenna. So that is a guarantee if he's allowed also to use them because you never know what the board is going to decide because apparently... The board will even dictate who should be on the pitch and who should not. What kind of tactics you're going to use. So you're basically there, but some other people are dictating you what to do. If we have to believe to the report that we've been seeing lately since Mauricio Pochettino left Chelsea Football Club. All I can say about this case is I am going to keep an open mind. Chelsea fans are looking for a perfect manager, a pedigree, a winner, somebody who's been there, done it. Jose Moreno, Thomas Tuchel, blah, 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 blah. They don't take to consideration what kind of team we have and what kind of board you have to work with. 
This is a completely different model. Forget about Jose Moreno. Forget about big names, Thomas Tuchel, because they will never, ever come back to Chelsea. Forget about it. Mark my word. Unless if the team is developed to a certain level and you want somebody to win you now, you have to get Thomas Tuchel and Jose Moreno then. Probably after two years from now. Somebody need to develop the team. Somebody need to make the team for them. And when they come to Chelsea, they're going to demand two, three, two or three key players and then win you a few trophies and destroy the team again and leave. I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm not going to judge him just because he's English, British, okay? from Nigeria, Africa, China, Asia. I'm not going to judge anybody based on where they're coming from because of the stereotype, the discrimination that we see, the treatment that certain people from certain countries are facing is just not fair. We are all created equally and we have to stop discriminating people because of our own mindset and this is the reason why the world is on fire you know it's burning jealousy everywhere war between nations everywhere because some people think that they are better than others and they have to attack them and they have to enslave them and discriminate them it's happening even in football the treatment that Cobham the treatment that a black guy, a yellow guy, a red guy is going to get is completely different. It has nothing to do with football, but just because we think that nothing good can come from South America or China or Africa. The mind is already set, so everything is already dead, you know. When is it going to end, Robbie? Okay, my people, it's so confusing even to report on anything right now because one minute you have one news and the following minute you have the contradiction of the same news. So many sources at the moment. One minute, Kiran Makena is coming to Chelsea. He He's open to coming to Chelsea, blah, 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 blah. The next minute, oh, no. Manchester United are going to hijack the deal and he's a Manchester United fans and blah, 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 blah. The next minute is going to be, oh, no, it's uh, Brighton who are in advanced position now, pole position to sign him. It's so confusing. Everybody is making headlines now. You don't know what to believe anymore. And that's why I am demanding for the new, the new coach to be announced as soon as possible because we need to know the players need to know okay we have to prepare for the preseason and for next season and even if you want to sign Osimen, you want to sign a striker they want to know what manager they will be playing under now in the last uh, few minutes the time i was recording it it's already trending on social media that brighton are very confident to beating Chelsea to get this guy. Everything will come down to what the guy want to do. He want to stay with, uh, with his current club, move to Brighton. Is Brighton offering more freedom and more opportunity to grow for him? Is he going to be afraid of getting sacked after two months at Chelsea Football Club? We don't know. One minute, Roberto De Zerbi is interested to coming to Chelsea and Chelsea are considering to go for him. The next minute, no, it's not him. Chelsea never even consider about him. What's going on here? And that's why I always tell you to be very, very careful about what you read out there. Stop reading. Just like Thomas Tuchel will say, stop reading. Stop reading. It's speculation, but I keep reading it. Stop reading. <laughs> Stop reading. I've only just learned. Stop reading. What do you read? Read a book. If Brighton are unable to, to get Kiran, they are going back to Grand Porter.
which is a very smart idea. Graham Porter is the guy who built that team at Brighton. Probably going back then is going to be amazing for him. No pressure, no nothing. He knows the business model. He's going to develop a lot of players that they're going to sell to big teams. That is his level. He doesn't have the charisma to win anything. But he can develop and build a team. So probably that's where he belongs. And other news are coming that Kano Gallagher and Trevor Chalba are expected to leave Chelsea. Surprise is every single day for almost a year now that we know about academy products are going to be sold to get profit. But for me, if these owners respect themselves and want to get some kind of dignity, some kind of respect after the Pochettino saga, they have to announce a deal for Kano Gallagher and Trevor Chaloba. Sign them up. Show people that you are not there only for money and you respect also tradition at Chelsea Football Club. You keep them, you give them new contract right now, and you announce a new coach as soon as possible. All these speculations will stop immediately, and we, we're going to start looking forward. But if you continue to wait and wait, people are going to get more and more frustrated. And you know what's going to happen, all right? You know what can happen is this. The last minute, Chelsea owners are going to low ball Conor Gallagher, right? And then Conor Gallagher is going to refuse. He's going to refuse like 70k a week from 50k to 70k while Malang Sar is on 120k a week and Raheem Sterling is on 350 a week. And then they're going to use their PR machine to say, you see, he doesn't love Chelsea because he refused to sign a contract. It's his fault. The same way they did with Mason Mount. They took the contract off the table. They already agreed terms. And the last minute, they used the PR machine to try to turn Mason Mount against the fans. So they can say, we wanted him to stay. Look at this. He refused to stay, to stay at Chelsea Football Club. So this is what's going to happen with Conor Gallagher. The PR machine is going to be in place to, to paint him as a greedy guy who is evil, who is just looking for money and who doesn't love Chelsea Football Club. So that is going to make it easier for them to sell him because, quote-unquote, he didn't want to stay at Chelsea Football Club. Everybody knows, every, well, not everybody, because social media is, you know, it's not about common sense or about uh, intellectual debate. It's about copy, paste, stupidity and evil. But that is what's going to happen. If they want to keep some sort of dignity, they have to handle Conor Gallagher, a new contract, Trevor Chaloba, a new contract, and announce the manager now, if you're going for the Zerbi, you're going for McKenna, you're going for anybody, just do it now and take this tension off the way and let's prepare for the future.